Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to create that faux HDR kind of tone map look that you might have seen in some of the uh, previous examples. And you'll probably actually recognize this photo because this is the photo that was used in the teaser we post on Facebook, and it's also in the bumpers uh, for the advertisements and stuff like that. We're going to do it in five simple clicks. I know a lot of you guys didn't believe us that it was just five clicks to get there, five seconds, but I'm going to show you guys right now. So we brought this in, it has the standard import preset already applied. If you don't have it applied, just click it now. We're going to open up our base adjustments and watch this. We're going to do a heavy boost to dynamic range. We're going to do a, let's say, a heavy boost to detail. And then a max boost to contrast, a light noise reduction, because we are going to be adding a little bit of noise in the shadows. And let's do a light vignette. And we are done. We have gone from the before to the after in just five clicks. Now we're setting this up as a new mixology recipe, so I've kind of set settings that would work well for most, uh, you know, kind of uh, images that I want to have this look to it. And let's save this out as a new mixology for our My Mixology folder. We're going to call this 03. Uh, I'm going to call this Comical Faux HDR. The reason I call it comical is because uh, it kind of reminds me of that editorial look that you might see from like a uh, Dave Hill image. It kind of has that comical feel to it. And you'll see exactly what I mean when we try this on some other photos. So I'm going to hit create. It's going into the My Mixology folder. And uh, there we go. We've created our new Mixology. And let's apply this to other photos we might think look cool. And uh, I'm going to actually do this photo right next to it. it. Basically what I would recommend is stuff like this looks really great on images where you've basically retained most of the tonal detail. Like you don't have clip shadows, you don't have blown highlights. Uh, and this will really make them really super punchy. So let's apply this. All we should need to do is make uh, a little bit of temperature modifications uh, and exposure modifications if needed, if the image is a little bit off in exposure and stuff like that. So you guys can dial in a temperature that you guys like. I'm going to cool it down just a bit, probably to about like right there. And uh, check that out. One click and then adjusting the temperature, we get that. Let's find another image. Let's see what we got. Let's apply it to this one. Let's see, comical faux HDR. Let's go hurry it up. My computer is processing. Did it actually do anything? Oh, let's click on it again. Because we save these to actually, when we when we make these presets, we make it affect everything. Clicking on a preset will actually change everything, so you don't have to worry about it leaving behind effects. This looks cool. All I got to do is adjust a little bit of the tint and temperature. It's a little bit on the red side, and it's a little bit on the warm side. So we're just going to pull it down. I'm going to go to my base adjustments. You could also drag it from the slider, but I'm going to just subtract out one exposure stop. And that gets me right about where I want it. I might cool it down just a tiny bit more. All right. And uh, you guys can dial in your own preferences, but that looks all right for me. And here's that. Again, you guys can see it's kind of got that comical, you know, high-pass filter look that you might see in editorial photographs. Ooh, this should be another cool image. This is actually one of the images that we uh, did a similar effect to this and post on, on Facebook. So let's apply this comical faux HDR. I'm going to add just a, a little bit of lightning to it. And again, I like it with that kind of like warm look. It has the cool uh, look from the shade on the hair. You get the blues and stuff like that. The cool mixture of toning. A really nice comical look. Here's the before. Here's the after. Comical HDR, that's what I call it. Uh, I usually set up a different preset for, like, say, landscape HDR and stuff like that. That doesn't quite have the exact same settings, but it's a similar concept. Let's do it through this image, too. Nice. All right, let's go back over to this side. I'm just going to adjust my temperature just to warm it up a titch. And again, if you guys want to make any adjustments to this setting, like let's say you want to adjust the detail down a little bit, save the preset so it basically looks like what you want to apply to most images, and then make minor like you know modifications and fine tuning once you actually apply it. So if we don't want as much detail enhancing, we can go down to medium boost on this image and so on. But here's that before and here's the after with that preset applied to it. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you guys with the next Mixology video.